This video is about dimensional analysis or how to convert from one unit to the other. And dimensions are things like length and width. So we're actually looking at the units to kind of help us set up our problem. And these here are some units that I would expect you to memorize by heart. If you don't know them, then it would be really great to take out a pen and paper, maybe in your science journal or someplace else, to write them down so you have, to, you have a place where you can refer to them. Now, we're going to be using a thing called the unit giant one, or multiplying by a fraction that's equal to one, to help you set the problem up. Now, the way that I like to do it is I write my problem, and I'm going to multiply by a fraction that's equal to one, and the way that this works is if you took any number and multiplied by 1, like 6 times 1, it's still 6. 2.3 kilometers times 1 is still going to be 2.3 kilometers, but we're changing the units so that it's going to look slightly different, but it's still the same quantity. Now, when you're multiplying by, by unit giant 1, you want to look to set it up so that the units you don't want cancel. So I don't want kilometers in my final answer, so I'm going to the units that I'm starting with, they're going to go down in the denominator here because I want them to cancel because kilometers in the numerator and kilometers in the denominator, this is a fraction that's equal to 1, just like 6 over 6, and so they're going to, it's going to cancel out. And I want to introduce meters, so I want to end in this case with meters. And now I need to figure out what's the relationship between meters and kilometers. So I can look up in my thing and I can see 100 kilometers is 1,000 meters. So the meters is 1,000, so that's the number that goes with the M, and kilometers, 1. And then multiplying out, you can, some people like to put a little 1 under their fraction. So it's 2.3 th times 1,000 over 1. And I like to estimate when I do it, 2 times 1,000 is about 2,000. So some people also just do the strategy of moving the decimal. So it's one, two, three decimal places. And I'm getting bigger, so I'm going to move the decimal this place. One, two, three. So 2,300 kilometers. I mean, sorry, uh, meters. And once again, the kilometers cancel out, and I'm left with the units that I want. Now let's look at the next problem. Okay, so 2.3 meters going to how many centimeters? Now, you might want to pause and try to see if you can set it up yourself. So that's always just a good strategy when you're watching a video. So once again, I'm going to write down what I'm starting with. And it's kind of like I'm creating a pathway of where I'm starting from and then where am I going. So I'm starting at meters. I'm going to centimeters. And... Once again, I'm trying to set it up so that I cancel out the units that I don't want. So I don't want meters. So the units I start with are going to go in the denominator. And I'm trying to introduce in centimeters. So those units that I'm ending with have to be introduced in. And then I want to look at my, for my uh, ratio of how many centimeters to how many meters and I can see up here one centimeter sorry one sorry one meter is a hundred centimeters so it's one M and a hundred centimeters some people once again like to put a little one under there so it's six about six times a hundred so my answer should be close to six hundred I'm multiplying um, by 100, so the decimal is moving over two places. So it's 624 meters in the numerator, meters in the denominator cancel. So I'm left with 624 centimeters. So lots of centimeters make up six meters. And so you can kind of start to get a sense of what, what works in terms of the size of things. Now, next problem. 32 grams is how many milligrams? Once again, start with the quantity you're given. Multiply by 1, because anytime you take a number and multiply it by 1, it's still the same amount. 
It's just going to look different because instead of in grams, it's going to be in milligrams. The units that we start with are going to go on the bottom because we want to cancel them out. The units that we want to introduce, that we want to end with, are going to be up here. And now we need to look at what's kind of the relationship between grams and milligrams. So I can look up here and I can see that one gram is a thousand milligrams. Once again, if you want to put the little one underneath, you can. So grams cancel grams. 32 times a thousand is 32 thousand and I'm left with my final units of milligrams. Once again, if you want to take it, there's your decimal and move it one, two, three places, one, two, three, thirty two thousand. Now this last problem, okay, one kilometer, we're going to multiply it by a unit giant one or unit mighty one, and we're going to centimeters. So I set it up. And once again, these are the units I start with, kilometers. And I want to kind of introduce my centimeters. And I look up here at kilometers, but I don't see, I only see it related to meters. So I can't go directly from kilometers to centimeters. I have to have like an extra step in here. So I'm going to go kilometers to meters. And the relationship is one kilometer is 1,000 meters. Now my kilometers cancel out, and I'm still trying to go from meters now to centimeters, so I have to multiply by another one. I want to get rid of meters, so I'm going to put them in the denominator, and I want to go two centimeters. So once again, they're going down here, and I'm trying to get to my centimeters. So I'm going to put them up there. And I need to look for what's the relationship between centimeters and meters. Well, one meter is 100 centimeters. And so now multiplying out one times a thousand, a thousand, and now I need to multiply by another 100. So that means take the decimal, and move it two more places over. So I have one, and I have one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five zeros. Meters in the numerator meters in the denominator cancel, so I'm left with the units that I want. Now this problem here is more of an advanced problem, but you can see why I want you to learn how to do these earlier problems, because eventually this is where we're going to go, and so if you can do it here, this problem is going to be a little less confusing. So don't worry about this last one too much right now, but see if you can kind of work on setting up problems like this 